I want to do a uh, quick video, kind of like an overview of something that I have been enjoying very much uh, before I get started. This is the Geek Protagonist. And what I'm talking about, without going into heavy, heavy detail, is Stargirl. So, to me, this show is very well written. I've been enjoying it. I think uh, Breck Bastinger, I think that's how you say her name, is doing a swell job as Stargirl. Like, she embodies Courtney. Um, her smile, it's kind of the same thing with Melissa uh, Benoit. People can say whatever they want about Supergirl. When I see Melissa, the way she is, I'm like, that's a Supergirl. So, the things right now that I think this show is doing well. First off, I think the pacing is excellent. And I think for the funny names and the stuff that they do, they make jokes like, who names these characters? Because they have some funky names. But at the same time, these are some of the most vicious villains you will see in a DC show. Like, they're taking, they're trying to take each other out. They're, they'll take out kids. They're, they're like, we don't care. They have a scorched earth mentality. Um, this most recent episode was phenomenal. It reminded me of Young Justice in a lot of ways, which is the only way you should ever do Sportsmaster forever is like that. Um, how they introduced uh, when they did the thing with Artemis and the daughter and how she kind of reminds me of Cheshire and Artemis together but then again the Cheshire character could just not be there right now so she's the older sister and that works and they, that could be why the parents are so on point with Artemis because they may have messed up with Cheshire I, I just thought it was phenomenal um the problems are accurate and real it doesn't feel like overly high school drama it feels like there's the high school drama on top of the life thing kind of a good balance like how spider-man is um and i like that each one has an issue like star girl is kind of having her father issues but then you have her stepfather uh pat and you're starting to see slowly but surely they're starting to become extremely close and they're starting to become a deeper and deeper bond and i think that's going to keep growing as the show goes because those characters do have an extremely deep bond and it's beautiful because you're seeing a, a, a male character in a very strong light who cares but who's also dealing with it and somebody like myself who has dealt with a, a similar situation there is a love that can develop there that can be so strong and a connection so powerful and it's great to see how they're going to care and it's going to just grow and i think it's great I like how each character has an issue. Now, I'm, my personal theory is that Dr. Midnight is going to come out or they're going to play on it a little bit. The one uh, girl is playing Dr. Midnight. I think in her character either has um, Asperger's or autism. Um, the way she can't seem to register the boundaries and the way just how she is in social situations it tell, it, that's what I'm getting from it. If it's not, that's fine. But it's interesting because I think that's a great take. Because I do, I did know someone. I went to school with someone who, uh, he had Asperger's. And he was very awkward about things. And he would like talk a lot or go the other way. I actually worked with a guy who later he explained that he had autism. But he was always very talkative. Like sometimes he didn't catch his boundaries either. Um, he even said it. Like it was kind of interesting to talk with him. He was a really cool guy. But yeah. So I feel like that's going to be something that could possibly come into play. But I also like the fact that with Wildcat, like the shame and, the, and making a mistake and how that mistake can can define you if you let it and I loved when she finally opened up it was like all the pain came out and I just think the show is handled so well same with our man where he has to deal with his anger and how his world has turned because he had stuff happen to him that was unfair and I just think personally that the show really 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 handles it very well uh, and each character has come to find a need for those powers they're doing something 
Uh, Wildcat, it's like everyone is shaming her, everyone is doing it. But when she's Wildcat, it gives her a purpose. And she found, uh, she found happiness inside of, Ted, uh, inside of the original Wildcat and what he did when he had to come back. And how she found inspiration in that of who he is as a as a person, who he was as a man, and she center focused herself onto that that in her training. Um, I like the fact that Doctor Midnight now has someone to talk to who actually she's able to just have a friend. And funny enough, when the show first showed and I seen the actors and stuff. I kind of was a, I thought I was going to be annoyed with her because the way she was being depicted, but actually I come to find that I'm really connecting with her and I feel horrible for her, like the way her parents are towards her and everyone. And there's a thing where she kind of reveals that she's aware of what's going on, but she always has a smile and it just, it just, it just pulled on my heartstrings because I, I was like, I, I, I can see where that comes from. I know what that feels like. Where people just don't care what you have to say or don't want to listen to you or they're kind of over i guess you could say overstaying your welcome in a conversation and it's hard because most people don't care and how she's in the background our man dealing with the loss and the pain and the anger like they're giving these characters so much depth and each one why the it's not just well i have these powers I guess it's time for me to be a superhero. Or, well, this person died. I guess it's time for me to be a superhero. It did happen with our man, and it did happen with them, but not all of them. Some of them are doing it for a different reason because they're good people, but yet there's a connector there, and I think that's great. I also think that the villains are awesome because, like, Icicle, for example, is so three-dimensional because you can see and you can kind of care for this guy until you also see how cold and vicious and uncaring he is. But he does care about his family, he does care about his community. And it, it's just interesting, the gambler and how he deals with certain stuff and how Sportsmaster and um, Tigress actually do not only care about their kid, they, they actually do kind of help people, but they don't care at the same time because of sociopath. It, it just, it's very well-rounded. This is just me talking about the show like i'm not going into any crazy details and i'm not trying to do spoil territory but the villains all have more than just i'm a bad person and i'm gonna do bad things they do and they are but it's it's giving you that they're also a person and i think that's pretty cool and they're able to flesh it out they're giving it time to show you, like, no, these people do have things they care about. They do love. They do this. But they're also bad. Just because someone is bad doesn't mean they're not a human. And I just think that's really awesome. And I also like the fact that the kids are dealing with tra traumatic situations. And it actually affects them. So, for example, sorry if it's a spoiler. Something happens where they see a dead body. But you could see the shock and the... The, the, the hit it hit them and you could see it and i thought that was very interesting and it also showing you honestly it's very dangerous for them to be superheroes so i think the show has been written very well i think it's awesome and i think it candles the the high school drama without being Oh, high school. They're probably going to have episodes dedicated, but it's not like, oh my God, am I going to the prom tomorrow? Or should I save the world? Like, it's not like that. And the reason why I wanted to share this, I guess I should start doing the CW shows because I do watch them, but I watch them in my own time now. This one I'm actually keeping up with episode by episode. But I feel as though not enough people are realizing how awesome I think this show is. So there are like episode six. They got several more episodes to go. But I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. I, I think uh, right now my favorite stories are going on as a toss up between the Wildcat storyline and Dr. Midnight storyline. I'm really catching myself. And also they also have the family dynamic. The kid, just, just check it out. It's a very layered show, plotted out very well, written out very well. The characters feel real, they feel organic. And 
you see that they're going through real problems. There's real situations in their lives and they're really hard because they're they're going through real bad stuff. And I personally feel it's a great job. So this is the Geek Protagonist. Just wanted to share my uh, thoughts on Stargirl. If you were on the fence about watching it, uh, that's my thought to it. At some point in time, if things slow down, I'll start doing maybe seasonal reviews of shows or something. We'll see with the DC shows because there's a lot of them coming out and even I've gotten behind on a few. This is Geek Protagonist. You stay safe, you stay healthy, you stay real. I'll see you. Hey, thank you for visiting my channel. This is the Geek Protagonist. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, please, it'll really help me out in the channel if you actually share these videos, if you like what I'm doing. Um, please hit that bell notification. Hit it click, click. Uh, this way you won't miss any of my videos. Also, there's a thing on there that says personal and all. Hit the all. Uh, this way you'll get them every time for the notifications. I'm trying to, you know, grow, trying to do commentary about what's going on. Um, and I want to thank you again. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay real. This is the Geek Protagonist. I'm out and I'll see you.